The Western Conference Semifinals Game 1. Portland were dominant in Round 1, able to advance in just five games. But the real test starts now as a new challenger awaits in the series opener against the Mavericks. The opening game of the conference semifinals up next. Yes, sir. What's good, you two? It's your boy, Reg Dollar. Welcome back to the Golden Knot NBA Series. You hear me? We in the second round, game one, Dallas versus the Portland Trailblazers. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Luka Doncic and Joel Embiid winning an illustrious game seven against the, the Denver Nuggets. That was a battle. If you haven't watched that game, tune into that one and come back here. But it's time. It's time. The eighth seed Portland Trailblazers upsetting the Seattle Sonics in about like five games. Let's see if they can do it again. I can't rule them out at this point. They had the talent. They had the talent. They was in the playoffs last year, too. But the West is just so damn tough. And they win the tip off. It's time to get into the action. Ricky Cruz has the ball. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Let it fly for downtown. Ricky Cruz telling him, hey, go under, go under if you want. Go under if you want. And the MPJ wide open in the corner. Knocked down. Two early threes for the Portland Trailblazers. Now Javon Arthur gets it to Joel Embiid in the post, and he's looking to go to work. A little triple shimmy, faking out Jalen Durant. He ain't know what the what the hell was happening. Embiid coming off average of 27 and 10 against Jokic. Let's see if he can have his way in this series against better defensive base. But he gets it again on Jalen Durant at the free throw line, and he goes to work. He goes right to work. 4-0 start for Joel Embiid. 20 feet out. Now Paul George with the step back, creating a separation on B.J. Boston, guarding him. And now Luka Doncic with a wild shot. He must have been trying to draw a foul. But Joel Embiid cleans it up and throws it down on Troy Mack. Now Ricky Cruz, they go under the screen again, and Yakum hold that. 11-8, to eight, Portland is up. Luka Doncic has Paul George on him, but Paul George, he's seen this before. He's seen this before. Difficult shot by Luka Doncic. Knocking it down right in the face of PG. And when Paul, when Luka Doncic sees PG, he sees food. But PG sees food right now on Brandon Boston. Hit another step back, Jay. They swing it around to Javon Arthur in the corner. Smack down. Corners is his spot. Now Keegan Murray coming off the bench. Spin move. Has Romeo Pettis guarding him. Takes him to the post and fades away. That's an old man game right there. That's old man game, Keegan Murray. And now Ayo DeSumo gets the screen, pulls up in the mid-range, and he knocks it down. Now Ricky Cruz has the ball, goes between the legs, looking to attack the basket, goes between again, and fades away, and he knocks it down. Average 22 and 11, I think, on like 36%. Luka Doncic comes off the screen right here, gets another one from Pressure Chua, steps back right in the face of Dante DiVincenzo, and he knocks it down. Get you one, Luka. Now DiVincenzo finds Deshaun Cook from three. Hell no. Now Luka Doncic on a fast break by himself. Euro step passes out to pressure to Chua, and he finishes with that break hand. Now PG calling for the screen on Brent, on for Jalen Durant. That's a great screen. PG rises and fires, and he nails it. Tight game right now. Javon Arthur wide open in the corner. That's too much space, and he explodes the net. PG has Brandon Boston calls for the screen. Pump fakes on the on the three. Troy Mack has a mismatch. Attacks the basket. Now he pump fakes. Great patience. Great footwork right there with the offhand. Troy Mack letting him hear it. Letting him hear it. Now he boards it. Looking to take it coast to coast. Cross over on Julius Randle. Hop step. And he double clutches. He doing too much. But Jalen Duran throwing down the hammer. Put back slam. Now they feed Troy Mack in the post. Has Julius Randle on him. Trying to back him down. Steps back. Rises and fire in the mid-range. And that's hard to contest. That's 7-1 right there. And that's a smooth bucket by T-Mack. Now Michael Porter bringing the ball up. Snatches back and rises from downtown. And he drills it. Timeout called Dallas. 
this Trailblazers squad, squad believes they could play with anyone. Going downhill, this is a rematch from last year. Two great patience by Ricky Cruz. That's a tough pump fake, tough bucket. And yeah, this is a rematch from last year's series. And behind the back, lob to Joel Embiid, and he posterizes two people. That's OD. Now DiVincenzo, that is not your game, trying to size people up. But he, fought, he finds MPJ for three, and he knocks it down. 11 in a game already for Michael Porter. I think that's his third three. Now Luka finds Eddie Houston in the corner, and he knocks it down. Timeout called Portland. It's a game of runs. Now Luka Doncic, oh my God, getting jiggy with it and lobs it up to Precious Achua. Now Romeo Pettis comes off the screen, lets it fly, quick release, and he knocks it down. Luka Doncic getting the screen from Julius Randle now. Troy Mack gets hit with the behind the back, but great recovery. That's hella size right there. MPJ at 6'10". Six, six, Troy Mack at 7'1". And... Great block by Jalen Duran at 6'11". Now Ricky Cruz goes spin move on Luka Doncic to the basket, changes hands, and he knocks it down. What a play by Ricky Cruz. Great finish. We got to see that replay. Look at that end-to-end -end transition. Goes between the legs. Spin move, looking so smooth on that, and changes hands on that. Ricky Cruz as a star. Now he's attacking the basket, finds MPJ. That's too much space. He knocks it down, 70 to 57. That's a 9-0 run by the Portland Trailblazers. Luka has the ball guarded by PG. And B comes with the screen. And he, Luka rises from downtown, and he knocks it down back to a 10-point game. Ricky Cruz now getting the screen, going behind the back. He gets double teamed. They find Michael Porter Jr. What are they doing? Another one. Banger. Banger for MPJ. Pump fake, PG, step back. Oh my God, hold that. <laughs> He's, they're out here wilding right now. The Trailblazers are out here wilding. Great pass by Luka Doncic and Joel Embiid throws it down. That was a dime. Now they find Troy Mack on the perimeter. Has Embiid on the crosses over to the basket and he throws it down over three defenders. Posterize. He said, get posterized. Troy Mack designating on the crowd. Now Luka Doncic finding Joel Embiid from three, and it's a seven-point game. Seven-point game, 17 in the night for Joel Embiid. DiVincenzo gets the screen, finds Deshaun Cook, and he throws it down with a two-handed slam for safety. Trying to rip the rim now. Ayo throws a nice little dump-off pass and another two-handed slam for Deshaun Cook. Getting active now. Look like a damn travel. Pump fake, PG, has Wendell Moore guarding him. Goes between the legs, looking to size him up. Steps back, and he knocks it down right in his face with the shot clock winding down. So poised, so smooth. And now BJ Boston coming off the screen, but Luka looking to get downhill with MPJ. Spin move, losing him right there. That's horrible defense. He is a plate. Now I'm going to hold you. MPJ is a plate. Luka Doncic gets the screen and rises from downtown, and it's a three-point game. He is not going out like no sucker. Now MB has J Jalen Duran in the post. Getting, oh, my God. He thrashed that off the backboard. Give me that. He said, forget all that footwork. And now MPJ pulls up. That's nasty. But Troy Mack cleaning it up right there. But Jalen Durant turning defense into offense. That was that was an incredible block. Now Javon Arthur comes off the screen. And that's too much space, too much time. And he knocks down another three. Luka Doncic behind the back. Has PG guarding him. Spin move again. Pump face out. They lose Javon Arthur. And he knocks down another three, giving him a big spark plug due to Fred Van Fleet being out. And now Joel Embiid gets in the post and he throws down a one-handed hammer. Four-point game, Embiid has a mismatch, but Ricky Cruz on him takes him to the post. No help comes at all, and it's a two-point game. Now Embiid finds Brandon Boston, Michael Porter Jr. Now I'm getting out, put some respect on his jumper, and BJ Boston makes him pay. Dallas is up by one now. Luka Doncic trying to get past Troy Mack, but that's great defense by T-Mack right now. Luka throws down, throws up a tough shot, and I just wanted to show that play. That's lockdown defense, but PG. 
big time bucket right there. Timeout called Denver. That's a tough three. Now Luka Doncic in transition, looking to get downhill. He pulls up right over the top of PG, and that's another tough bucket. Now Ricky Cruz with the spin move, pulls up for three, and he nails it. Oh, my God. The improvement in Ricky Cruz's game at the three-point line is OD, and Troy Mack has Luka on him. Turn around, great touch, and he knocks down the left hand. Left-handed hook shot, five-point game. Paul George passes out to Michael Porter Jr. with Luka on him. He gets past Luka. Michael Porter Jr. beating someone off, off a quick first step is really ridiculous. But Joel Embiid throws it down on Jalen Durant. Now Ricky Cruz passes out to Troy Mack. He rises over Julius Randle, and he tells him to hold that big shot by Troy Mack to put it back to a seven-point game. Luka passing out to Joel Embiid, and he throws it down on Jalen Durant. It's a five-point game. Now Luka with the turnover. PG is not even running on the fast break. What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Now he's actually running, and he still gets to the basket. All right. So 118 to 109. Luka Doncic for three. He nails it. It's a six-point game with like 30-something seconds left, and you know what time it was. The free throw game, the Portland Trailblazers end up pulling away while well, winning a close one against Dallas and stealing home court advantage. I'm telling you, this team is for real, and they got a chance. They got a chance to make it to the conference finals after being a 10th seed. Well, Paul, this team seems to be rounding into shape. What is your sense of the chemistry right now? Really good, really good, real beneficial. It's great that we was able to pick this win up. That's what it's about. We don't care if it's a blowout or if it's a close one. We need to learn how to do both. So uh, it's great. We were able to pick this up. Good quality team win. Good luck on continuing to build that chemistry. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Yeah, man, I really like this Portland Trailblazers the squad. Ricky Cruz, the player of the game. The leader of the team, the tone setter, gets everybody involved, makes plays, and when he's knocking down the three, it's really tough to guard. Got a quick first step, explosive, very crafty around the rim, with tough lays, and such a great playmaker. Such a great playmaker. Luka Doncic ended up with 34 and 13, though. He also showed up and beat 27 and 10. Javon Arthur even gave you pretty good minutes. And he been not, he's been knocking down the three really, really well in the playoffs, 45%. Ricky Cruz, 27, 8, and 14 assists. Paul George giving you 20. MPJ gave you 21. Jalen Duran, 18 and 10. Troy Mack also gave you 14 and 7, but I just feel like all the buckets you had, he made you feel it. And off the bench, Deshaun Cook. The Eastern Conference Semifinals, Game 1. Memphis are coming in off an arduous seven-game battle in Round 1. The intensity has been heightened. The stakes raised. They are now on the hunt for a Game 1 victory against the Wizards. The opening game of the Conference Semifinals, up next. The next stage of the Eastern Yes, sir. We back. We back. We back. Yeah, dig. If you haven't hit the like button, what you doing, man? What you doing? But it's Wizards versus Grizzlies. Game one. John ja Morant going up against. Well, John ja Morant, Jaden Hardy going up against the backcourt. Ty Ty and Marquise Allen. Let's see how that's that's a key matchup. How that backcourt is going to be. And then you also got the big fella, Rich Mack, the most dominant presence. How is Jaron Jackson Jr., Wendell Carter, and Mark Miller's going to handle? Let's find out right now. They find it a Rich Mack, and he throws it down with the slam. Posterizing Wendell Carter, setting off the tone. He's too little, and now he gets it. A little back down, get out the way, and he's about to finish it. A little, little light. A little light. He didn't want to do it to him on this. But Jaden Hardy coming off the screen. Rich Mack coming out to contest. But he's telling them to hold that. Jaden Hardy, elite shooter, and John ja Morant gets his shit denied. Hell no. Sent that to the fourth row. Let's see the replay again. Oh, my goodness. Ja. None of that sweet stuff around here, around Rich Mack. It's going right to the fourth row. Now snatch back. Marquise Allen gets separation on Desmond Bain. And his, his wingspan, too little to even contest that. Now Tata gets a screen from Rich Mack. Great screen by Rich Mack. And he's coming down the lane with another rim rocker, rim shaker, rim throttle, whatever you want to call it. Rich Mack just throwing down another 
mean one. And now Tata Washington coming down the lane, finding DeAndre Hunter in the corner, and he knocks it down. Rich Mack is by far the best, best, the best, the goaded screen, uh, screen setter. And now transition, Rich Mack in transition. He throws a little, little, little layup, little layup for y'all. Damn. And now DeAndre Hunter calling his own number, pulling up right in the face of Desmond Bain. I'm telling you, the wingspan is too little to contest. But now Desmond Bain, little dump off pass to Wendell Carter, and he goes reverse stop. Now the best screen setter, great screen. Marquise Allen rising and firing from mid range, getting to his spot. And DeAndre Hunter finding Rich Mack with another rim rattle and shaking the room. And now a Bones Highland pulling up in the mid range, getting a bucket to go. Busy getting to it, spin move and throwing denied by Jawan Johnson. Fresh off the bench, Rich Mack's back up. Now Marquise Allen, shot clock winding down, game clock winding down, get busy with it, get busy with it. Goes right past Bones and he throws it down with the right hand slam. Now Desmond Bain in the second quarter coming off the screen, he knocks down the mid range. I count it as a two. John Morant, a little hezzy, has Kevin Herter frozen and he gets right to the basket in a blur. Telling everybody to calm down, but it's a blowout right now. But Jalen Miller knocks down the midi, I mean the three-pointer, to put them down 14. But now it's a 16-point game. Jaron Jackson throws it down on Marvin Bagley. Do they have a runner? Do they have a runner? John Morant takes it to the basket, and he designates on the rim. AT&T 5G slam cam. Can that spark a run? They need to get some stops. Wizards are scoring at will. But that's a big time potential momentum swing by Ja. And in the corner is Josh Hart for three, and he knocks it down. Now Ja splitting the, splitting the screen right there, and he throws it down right over the top of Juwan Johnson, telling him to block this. Throwing it down, and now the clock is winding down in the second quarter. Ja gets a screen from Mark Williams. Goes baseline to the basket, and he throws down another tomahawk slam. Block foul, count the bucket, and one. John Morant throwing down another poster, and now we're coming out of halftime. Desmond Bain for three, and he gets it in his back. Says single-digit game. Memphis making a run and right back into this. It's a 10-point game, though. In and now Marquise Allen pulls up in the mid-range, and that's bottoms. <laughs> bottoms. Now, great pass, and Denny Adia throws it down with the two-handed slam, holding on to the rim. And now Desmond Bain gets, oh my God, Wendell Carter laid Kevin Herter the hell out on that damn screen. And Desmond Bain all by himself in a putback slam by Jaron Jackson Jr. Coming out of nowhere. Now John Morant looking to go baseline. Denny Adia, and he, oh my, that acro that's dumb acrobat. John Morant. A jaw drop and play and throw it down, young fella. Jalen Miller with the two handed slant. That jaw layup was mean. Now Jalen Miller gets the screen, attacking the basket, and he lobs it up to, to Lamar Carter out of Memphis. And now Jalen Miller looking to get busy. He has Marvin Bagley on him. That's a plate. And he lays Rich Mack. Oh my God. That's guts. That's guts to go at Rich Mack like that and actually complete that. But Ja Morant contorting his body again to lay up to go. Now he gets a screen. Shot clock winding down again. And he throws it down right over Rich Mack. Oh, my God. We got to see this again. Yeah, if Rich Mack would have actually jumped, he probably would have hit his head on, like, the bottom of the backboard. But he threw it. He put him in the rim. And now three-pointer. By Marquise Allen, and now he comes off the screen. Desmond Bain looking to stay attached. Another screen. He's getting to the basket, and he switches hands, and he gets a left-handed layup to go. John Moran has had some damn highlights to that. Pump fake, passes out to Wendell Carter. Desmond Bain lets it fly for three. He knocks it down. And now Rich, uh, John Moran trying to test out Rich Mack again, but he just denies that one. Now advancing the ball to Ty Ty. They swing it to Marquise Allen in the corner. They don't even close out to him, and he has enough time. Makes him pay. That's 21 in a game for Marquise. 
John Morant turns the ball over. Great hands by DeAndre Hunter. Now it's a transition. Marquise Allen looking to go 360 showtime. But Jaron Jackson denies that. He was not having it. He got some balls to try that. I'm not going to lie. Because it wasn't like it was that much clear space. But Ty Ty Washington lobs it up to Rich Mack. And he throws down another hammer slam. That is slight work. Barely even got to get up for that. But now Rich Mack drop steps, pump fakes, throws it up, misses it, gets his own rebound, and just goes straight up and just throws it down right over Wendell Carter and Jaron Jackson. Yeah, it's looking like they can't stop him. And Rich Mack just gets the rebound over Jaden Hardy, and he gets a left-handed layup to go. The Wizards are in full control of this game. In and out, Marquise Allen throws it down, the right-handed slam, the timeout called the Grizzlies. And that's all she wrote in game one. But Marquise Allen not done. Oh, my God, making Bones Island touch the earth. There is nothing over there. Nothing over there. And it's still not over. He's still trying to get Bones help. Going little little mixtape pull up. Oh, FaceTime. Get him out of here for game one. It's over. The Washington Wizards control game one without Scoot Henderson still out the pitcher. We don't know yet how long, when he's going to be back, maybe in a conference finals. But it's still not over. It's still not over. It's only game one. But this Washington Wizards squad it, 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 it is dominant. It is dominant. It's tough to beat. Tough to beat. So long and good night, everyone. Rich Mack did his did his thing. And Marquise Allen, if he's hooping like this, when they get Scoot Henderson back, oh my God. What the Clippers announce the same? Me, oh my. Me, oh my. But hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. 29, 19, and four steals and five. A damn near five by five and only missed two shots to Rich Mack. 30 for Marquise Allen. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for more and also hit the bell so you notify it's your boy Reg dollar stay safe be go to take a look at the stats and if you haven't watched the other videos go go back in the catalog you dig go back in the catalog educate yourself educate yourself on some goaded stuff but i'm about to get out of here stay safe be goaded you feel me